I'm sick of just sitting around and seeing like homophobia in my school or sexism in my school, racism in my school, or just in life in general and to actually feel like you're part of a change, I think it's very important. I've re read a lot of stories, I've seen a lot of um, things on, on the news about lots of people whose rights are being, they're being stripped of their rights and I myself, it really hurts me that people can be so insensitive and make people feel so less, it makes them feel less dignified than they should and I feel like it's not fair. So My teacher seen me in class that I sort of had an interest in like what was going on in the world and um, like it wouldn't necessarily be something that I had ever been like really interested in but when she introduced me to it like I've really found that I am, um, it's something I'm really passionate about like. <laughs> In Ireland, I think it's um, the asylum seekers or refugees in um, DP centres that are staying there for long, unnecessary periods of time. I think um, also with homelessness that we really need to stand up when it comes to homelessness and we need to be we need to act faster. The divide between etting us and other people around us and across the world isn't as big as people believe. Just because somebody's in a different country doesn't mean that they mean any less than you. We get put in pairs and we have to tell each, we have to tell each other a story about bravery and then the other person have to just tell it to the group as if it was their own story. I think that you don't have to understand something to be empathetic of something. When I saw Etting Angela talk, it shocked me because I live in a world where I can wake up every morning and get out of my bed, go to school, not think about anything and not have to be worried about food or water or shelter. I don't have to worry about any of that. How about we change the system? How best can it suit everyone? Because staying too long in a direct provision center comes with uh, some effects. For instance, it is a lot of health, mental health issues. I think today like, was really like um, inspiring that we got to see maybe the other side of the world's issues. Who's 17 here? Can you put up your hand please? Wow. So when I was 17, I was your age and I went to prison for the next four years of my life. The most crucial thing in every single person's life is education and the right to that and a quality education. I think it would help a lot of problems. Looking at issues and thinking what's the most rational way we can go about dealing with this rather than shouting and immediately reacting with war. Today is like also like helped me to expand my knowledge on how we as students can use our voices um, to raise awareness about it and I think raising awareness is one of the major things we can do right now. You are the person who can make a difference and believing in that is writing like I said a Facebook post, uh, set up a blog, write your opinions. You know, you're, you're in a free country where you're free of opinion and you can say whatever you want to say. I definitely think I'd be able to bring a voice to it like because I know that um, I have like, a loud voice and I'm confident so I know that I'd be able to go out and speak to loads of people about human rights, standing up for human rights and pressuring the government or any other organisations to take a stand. Because there are so many injustices and, and the lack of human rights that people aren't granted that still continue to shock me and I think shock a lot of people. And I think when you have a reaction to something like that and you have that passion it's the harnessing of it. I think that's what would sum up bravery for me. It's to kind of you have to try and like empower that to the highest degree that you possibly can, because that's how you make a change. And I think that's what being brave is. Mainly, I just want people's voices to be heard and for individuals not to be forgotten. To get involved with organisations like Amnesty, to, or to even just like speak about it to your peers or to your family, just to make people aware and just to keep up with current affairs, to keep up with the world around you because if you're so if you keep yourself in your little bubble and you're naive to certain issues people face it doesn't make them any less relevant that doesn't because they're not your issues doesn't mean they aren't issues